I'm gonna miss you, Tom. Wait, this is Yuri Tulusti. I'm gonna miss you, Thomas Caberlet. I have too many bobbleheads. And there's Don Cherry. After years of speculation, I think the rumor started before he was even born, the Leafs trade Thomas Caberlet to the Boston Bruins for a first round pick, a conditional pick, and Joe Colburn. Wow. And then that trade had its thunder stolen by the blockbuster between the Blues and Avalanche. But at two in the morning, it was technically the next day. So the Caberlet deal was the biggest trade of the day. And I've been making these videos for four seasons now. You guys have seen it. I haven't always been the biggest Caberlet fan. Like any player out there, he's got his faults. Always kind of wished he was a little meaner, a little nastier. But when it comes to offensive defensemen, Thomas Caberlet is one of the best around. His Hail Mary up ice passes might be second to none. Fans go nuts when he doesn't shoot because he has a very very accurate shot went four for four in the accuracy competition at the all-star a few years ago but put him on a team with Zidane Chara. That's a scary thought. And over his career, Thomas Caberlet has been a Habs murderer. You Bruins fans just got really excited, didn't you? Not including the games this season, Thomas Caberlet has 47 points in 59 career games against the Canadians and finished his Leaf career with 520 total points. That's good enough for 11th place all time for guys in a Leaf uniform, just 17 points shy of Rick Vibe for 10th. Thomas Caberlet named to the All-Star team four times in the last nine years. He's been with the organization so long he got drafted by Cliff Fletcher the first time. So Bruins fans, you better take good care of them. Now that being said, pretty good return I think. I've already read some scouts saying that Colborn and Kadri are fighting it out as the Leafs number one prospect. And can I just say, the Leafs have had an excellent couple weeks here at the 2008 NHL entry draft. Getting, but Burke acquires the 16th overall pick in 2008 in Colborn and the 17th pick in 2008 in Jake Gardner. Now the first round pick they get from Boston, Crapshoot. Some amazing players have been picked in the late first round over recent years, or you could just get no one. Or you could trade it. Now we're at the draft. The Leafs have a conditional second round draft pick from Boston, and the condition is A, if Thomas Caberlet resigns in Boston, they get it or B, the Bruins make the finals this year. So if Leaf fans are a little confused, you're cheering against the Bruins for the rest of the regular season, and then for them in the playoffs. Worst case scenario, the Bruins finish first in the East and then get knocked out in the conference final. Knock on wood. So to recap the last few weeks, the Leafs trade Francois Beauchemin, Chris Versteeg, Thomas Caberlet, and a conditional seventh round pick. Aaron Voros, Joffrey Lupul, Jake Gardner, a conditional fourth round draft pick from the Anaheim Ducks in 2013, a third round draft pick from the Philadelphia Flyers this year, a first round draft pick from the Philadelphia Flyers this year, Joel Corbone, the Bruins first from this year, and a conditional second round pick in 2012. <laughs> <sighs> so Berg given up some big pieces recently, the biggest piece being Thomas Caberlet in the big trade with Boston, but he's got a lot of assets in return. He's already offered up Philly's third rounder to someone, and there's no way I think the Leafs pick two first rounders this year. I think he's going to trade them. At least one of them. And Berg said he's going after a defenseman. So not only is Berg not done, it doesn't even sound like he's close to done. So now the hard part where you judge who won the trade. My answer is simple. Allow me to get in the DeLorean. Way too early to tell who won the trade. The Leafs might have murdered the Bruins, and the Bruins might have murdered the Leafs. Let me say this, however. The picks that the Leafs have received in the last few weeks are kind of hard to judge because you have no idea what will actually be around by the draft. But you look at some of the prospects Burke has signed, some of the prospects he's traded for, Keith Olley, anyone? Drafted some strong players like Kadri, Blacker, McKegg, Nichols, Ross, and acquired guys like Gardner and Colborne. And when Burke started with the Leafs, he talked about restocking that shelf. Well, the cover to Leafs prospects is looking pretty good right now, and they got two things. A lot of draft picks and a lot of cap space. Do those things add up to immediate help? Well, you certainly hope so, but probably not. But I definitely get the impression that after the recent earthquake of trades, there's going to be a few big aftershocks. I'm sorry, I was cheesy, it just fit. But in the time being, the Leafs that are left have to fight for that final playoff spot somehow. However unlikely it may seem. And in terms of Boston, with a goalie like Thomas and a defenseman like Chara backing him up, Caberlet is free to do all the offensive things he is amazing at. The East just got a lot more interesting. So my final thoughts for all he's done for the Leafs, one of the most highest scoring Leafs of all time, thank you to Thomas Caberlet. So two big questions to Leafs fans. One, what was your favorite Thomas Caberlet memory? The guy had seven overtime winners, two of them against Montreal, but I really liked his shootout goal against Montreal. No one saw it coming. And what do you think of the Caberlet trade? If a simple comment or video response isn't good enough for you, I'm going to be doing a chat tonight on mapeleafs.com slash live during the game. Chat starts at seven, mapeleafs.com slash live, and you know Caberlet is going to be a huge part of that chat.